Hello and welcome to this episode of Heart and Health. In this episode, we'll be talking about smoking and its adverse effects on cardiovascular system. So, smoking has been described as one of the most common and preventable cause of disability around the globe. It is said that around one fifth of total deaths that are occurring over, all over the world are directly or indirectly related to smoking. And these deaths may be because of coronary artery disease, various cancers, or even COPD, which is an extreme manifestation of prolonged smoke. So it has been said that smoking doubles the risk of coronary artery disease. Coronary arteries are the arteries which supply our heart muscles. And these are the arteries which are very important for our survival. Smoking increases the risk of coronary death by around 50%. And this risk increases as the age increases and as the number of years of exposure to smoking increases. There are multiple effects on cardiovascular system which can be seen because of smoking and these include a myocardial infarction or a heart attack. There can be sudden cardiac death because of smoking. There can be increased risk of aortic aneurysm rupture. Aorta is the main vessel which arises from the heart and supplies blood to almost every organ of the body. In certain cases, this aorta can dilate and smoking can predispose to the rupture of this dilated portion. This is a life-threatening entity. Besides this, smoking increases the chances of patients requiring a bypass surgery or requiring stinting. Smoking also increases the risk of stroke. Both hemorrhagic as well as ischemic strokes increase as the exposure to smoking increases. What is ischemic stroke? Ischemic stroke is a manifestation of the clogged arteries of the brain and hemorrhagic stroke is a stroke which is happening because the blood vessel inside your brain has ruptured. Besides this, it can also cause blockages in the peripheral arteries, that is arteries of your upper limbs and lower limbs. Females are also at increased risk of venous thromboembolism. What is venous thromboembolism? Venous thromboembolism is the condition where there is formation of clots inside the deep veins of your lower limbs and these clots can travel up to the lungs and this is a life-threatening complication. It has been said that smoking reduces approximately one decade of life compared to never smokers. How does smoking lead to all these uh, cardiovascular complications? So it has been said that smoking increases blood pressure, it increases the tone of blood vessels, it can cause the coronary arteries to go into contracted state or spasm, it can cause an inflammatory state which accelerates the process of atherosclerosis and can result in more blockages of the coronary arteries. Smoking is also responsible for increase in electrical instability of the heart uh, which can manifest as arrhythmia. Smoking also increases insulin resistance which in itself can accelerate the process of atherosclerosis. Smoking also affects the fibrinolytic system. What if you wanted to quit smoking? So will it normalize your cardiovascular risk? Well, yes. So it has been said that smoking cessation decreases the risk of coronary artery disease by 50% in first two years. And in three to five years, this risk decreases as low as the risk in non-smokers. That is why it is said that it is never too late to quit smoking. However, the risk of lung cancer, pancreatic cancer and gastric cancer does not decrease immediately and it may require approximately a decade for these risks to come down. There are multiple remedies which are available in the market and which can be offered to a patient or a person if he is willing to quit smoking. E-cigarettes have been banned in India. Besides this, there are multiple drugs which are available. I will not name any of them, but yes, there are multiple modalities which can be offered to you if you require one. And nicotine replacement is one of the most common solution which has been available over the counters or the pharmacy stores and it has been used by many people for quitting smoking and this can also be offered as an alternative for quitting smoking. We'll stop here our discussion on smoking and cardiovascular diseases and we'll meet again in next episode of Heart and Health talking about some other issues concerning your heart. Till then, thank you for listening and bye.